Hi, Aries. It's Lulu. Mm. And I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Any information that you need is in the description box, darling. Yes. It is 2.35 in the morning. Okay. Now then. I missed y'all, okay? Do you have an Aries? Oh, y'all talking. All right. Uh, you are going through a space where you will be balancing a lot of things, coming to terms with certain things, uh, getting a deeper understanding of um, yourself, okay? Um, I also feel as though you'll be moving into a meditative state where you will be able to reflect. This is like soul reflection and seeing the... <clears throat> Why you went through maybe a, a strong shadow phase where you did a lot of going into the cellar to um, dig deep into your psyche, dig deep into your, um, dig deep into, this is soul retrieval. You really went in and um, pulled back pieces of yourself from your past that you need now. Um, that you may have pulled back some things that you needed from when you were a teenager. You may have pulled back some things that you needed from past incarnations. But overall, you've pulled it back in. You, you're balancing it, but it's going to take you a little time. Thank you. Moving forward, I feel as though there is a decision that needs to, make, to be made. This decision is going to bring you abundance on any level, health, wealth, or um, whichever level, all, abundance on all levels. Uh, you may be confused, needing clarity about which direction to go. I feel as though you will make um, the right decision, but it's going to take you some time here. Because at this crossroads, what I'm seeing is that um, this is going to be huge for you when it comes to new beginnings, when it comes to more confidence and uh, trusting your intuition, when it comes to having confidence in um, if you are doing the right thing, there's going to be, uh, there's going to be reassurance that happens rather rapidly, but you need to make the decision. Some of you will be paving um, a new road. Instead of going left or right, you will be creating a new, like, you can go this way or that way, but you want to go this way. So you are creating your own um, brand. You are creating your own, um, you're being innovative. It's right there. There's going to be a lot of movement. There's going to be a lot of things for you to do to bring everything, to pull things together. Yep, Wheel of Fortune. Things are slowly coming to uh, coming full circle, right? And now that you are um, at this uh, space where um, this will either make or break you, you're going to make a decision here that is going to bring a, a lot of momentum, a lot of money, right? But this will also bring you um, a lot of karmic reward from uh, things that you've done in the past. So now that you are at the, on the upswing, you're going to feel more uh, loving. You're going to feel more aware of your body. You'll be in your body. You may even have certain feelings that you didn't know um, you had. You may even get to a space where you are astral traveling more or astral projecting more. Um, when it comes to you being led on your journey, I feel that some of you may um, abruptly just, you know, take a trip or um, decide to just get away here and it may be for the uh, being called uh, by the heart space being called because of love being being called because of um, the direction the things that you need to do once you make a decision right um, I'm seeing here where selenite there's going to be so much clarity here you may be fearful of um, disrupting the stability that you have clarified is self-love Ten of stones. Yeah. So this is financial abundance. This is um, 
reaping that inheritance, right? Whether it's ancestral uh, inheritance or actual financial inheritance, but there's balance there. There's stability there. There's um, a beautiful home life. Some of you may even be finally selling a home or um, moving into a new home, but there is balance there. Um, selling that again. I'm seeing here where you are being pointed um, with clear precision, like your intuition is clear. Your connection to your guides, spirit, angels, ancestors, God, is very clear and direct. Clarify this 10. Yep. Um, a new way of looking at things. Look at that. <laughs> Getting an epiphany and taking charge, making sure that, um, you know, it feels right. There's a lot of passion reignited between you and someone. Or just even with your home life, you may have been remodeling, re uh, reorganizing, restructuring things and feng shui and shit out. That's what they say. Yeah. You're seeing the world from a different perspective. You are really in a space. You got two aces. So you're really in a space of planting uh, new seeds, right? You're planting um, a new beginning where you are very direct in um, your goals. You are very uh, stern with where you want to go and how you want to go. I feel like there may be some type of communication from afar that comes in and changes the way that you look at things, changes your worldview, Um some of you have really expanded, ascended and spiritually expanded to the point where um, you have gone through this transformation, this metamorphosis of source, and now you're ready to um, come out into the world renewed, come out into the world uh, feeling fresh and able to approach life with a zest. You have a zest for life, a zest. Calm down, don't get loud at night. Now, yeah, this is beautiful clarity. Uh, with this... Um, all of this optimism coming in with this offer, all of this optimism and this heightened um, solar plexus energy where um, you are ready, your gears are grinding, right? Um, there may be a partnership in question here. And when it comes to the partnership, it also feels as though you don't know how this looks in your partnership or how um, does this, how does your partnership balance with what it is that you have going on? This may even be a new business partnership, but I think this is love because there's anxiety and love uh, crossing this partnership. Um, there's a need to see things from a different perspective. Um, I also feel as though the, your sight is going to be different. You may begin to see um, beautiful uh, colors, uh, more vivid colors, more vivid dreaming, more... Um, of, but this is all from a spiritual sense. So it may be uh, that you are daydreaming or seeing uh, things clear. Like one of your gifts is, has really opened up to the point where um, you are seeing a lot for yourself, which is good. Uh, you're seeing more for yourself than you have in the past. You are very comfortable in this space. Um, there's a lot of blue comforting energy but you also are you know uh, taking a leap of faith when it comes to standing in your truth so that blue does you know make sense with you being a visionary here um, you're very stern and what it is that you are planting how you are going to move about here um, there's a lot of confidence uh, being ushered in a lot of positive energies being ushered in so that you can make the decisions that feel right for your spirit that feel right for your soul Right. So you will be doing these things and um, really standing in that truth. But the thing is, there may be a partnership that is conflicting. There's a new beginning in a partnership, but overall you feel tied down uh, and restrained. Um, there's some type of emotional shit storm that is coming in that you um, were unaware of because it feels like in one area of your life, things are beautiful, great, grandiose. And then in another area, because there's that balance. Remember, you're going through all of this to balance out your inner world so that your outer world can reflect it. Because there's work that needs to be done within that will be reflected out in the coming uh, months. Some of you are going from being single to a partnership. You don't know what that means. What does that look like? Um, it's kind of scary. There's a lot of fear, anxiety, and stress and worry about is this what needs to happen. But here it is, the Hierophant. Right. Looking at this from a childlike perspective, what it is, what is it that you were dreaming of and wanted, you know, um, when you were younger, um, using that innocence here um, and being your own wise counsel to paint the picture that you need in the future. What does that look like and how can you um, what do you need to compromise? What's, what can you compromise, soft compromise and, um, you know, being gentle with yourself, but also with others. 
Now, we're not expecting that from other people, but we are reflecting that. Now, if they agree or not, we don't know. But someone is very confused about a relationship, very confused, needing clarity. But there's a new beginning. There's also a pregnancy here. Um, I feel um, that... Either, you're either pregnant with ideas or you're actually pregnant here. Um, I also feel that you want to commit to your values, commit to what it is deep down that you um, have been wanting for yourself and your family. I also see here with this Hierophant card that um, the gifts that you've had um, have always stood out, right? Since you were very young, and you've committed your life, you've committed to your life purpose very early on, for those of you who resonate with that. Um, I'm also seeing here that um, there will be some childlike flattery, childlike gifts, childlike um, entertainment, childlike proposal, childlike art, childlike. Okay. Now then, uh, with this sun card, maybe dealing with the Leo, Gemini, Pisces, Libra, whoever. Uh, you may be t uh, taking a trip where you need to go off and write. You need to cl uh, clear your mental space to write or journal here. Uh, somebody got their whole bag packed, and it, this is going to change their life wherever they end up. Okay? Seeking arrangements. I started to go on there. Because I might be seeking an arrangement. And now then. <clears throat> There's going to be some type of uproar or, or um, confusion sets in after you come back from this journey. There's going to be some type of, yeah, needing to make a new another decision when this shit storm hits. So you want to be mindful. Just sit in it. Um, some of you may even be in a... Um, a space where you feel that you are being held back from certain things, being able to do certain things. There may be an argument or some type of fussing and fighting or um, just being just at a point where you've taken enough. There's no you can't take anymore. Once you come back from some journey, uh, you feel as though you can't take this anymore. There's some upset. There's an uproar. Um, it feels that this comes out of nowhere. You weren't expecting this, right? Um, there's a need to take charge in certain situations, but in this one, you're going to have to sit back because this is going to trip you out. You're going to come to a space where you're like, like, what the fuck? Right? It's right there. Honey, um, what is this shit storm, babe? Because we ain't got time for these. I mean, you know, it's the ebb and flow, but oh, honey, what is this uh, ten of? Mm, yeah, this is taking you back to a space where you have to um, guard and protect the fruits of your labor. You have to move into a space where, uh, what the hell is that? You. Oh, ponytail fell in that last reading. Going into a space where you have to protect the fruits of your labor for uh, any oncoming uh, issues, right? You may feel trapped. You may feel confused. Uh, you may feel as though, uh, I think you're going to be in your head a little too much. Why is a reason they hid? Because they're afraid of losing. Someone wants to stay in a partnership because they're afraid of losing or um, there may even be that you are closing yourself off because you're afraid of losing financially or you are afraid of um it's like um you've gone past the 90-day rule with someone that you were dating possibly and it's just like no i'm still not doing it right um but i also feel that, that you feel blocked um by financial constraints you feel uh, as though you don't want to spend anything you don't want to um make any wrong moves and it's confusing you yeah it's confusing you 
and it may have to do with a, an earth sign here I feel as though there's an earth sign that is tied up there's some type of paperwork tied up here there's someone who is acting one way and singing a different note singing a different tune and it's kind of confusing you uh, you're unsure of this um, earth sign needing to um, you may have been betrayed by this person before you may have been trapped in some type of situation with this person before and you want out you want to get out of this you want freedom you want to but you're not trapped okay i feel like you're very guarded when it comes to this person um i also feel that you will be emotionally uh stable moving uh, into the coming months but i also feel that there's a need for you to um, sit with yourself or sit with uh, your plans moving uh, after you make a decision especially around the time of this shit storm what is this shit storm mm -hmm. this is going to something is happening that um comes up from the past that is going to cause a shit storm there is something that need is, needs uh, you to pay closer attention to there's going to be a lot of self-reflecting there's going to be a lot of projecting uh, from people around you um, there's going to be some type of um, arguing and fighting that has to do with um, memories maybe past life memories but overall there's some type of conflict and they want you to really uh, go into um, focus on your breath as much as possible move into this meditative state throughout this process because it can be daunting here very grateful this is moon uh, energy very grateful for the things that you've gone through seeing things from a different perspective when this shit storm happens um, trying to calm the wild beast when this shit storm happens trying to make sense of things when this shit storm happens yeah but justice will prevail there's no need for you to worry about it things will happen the way that they need to accordingly right uh, there will be some overthinking you just have to you know Try and uh, affirm the opposite of the negative thoughts that you may be thinking to keep from living those thoughts, uh, manifesting those thoughts out. And with this moon card, any illusion or fears that may, uh, um, any intuitive nudges that you may get at that time, they want you to just sit with those as well. Because I'm seeing here with you being an environmentalist, with you being um, someone who... Um, enjoys the finer things in life but also embodying the divine feminine it's going to be very important that you uh, focus on what it is that you want and not in those not those things that you don't want i feel as though there's a lot of life being um bestowed upon you here where there are things that are about to happen that you um least is expected you're not seeing how um there's uh you know, secrets being revealed and um, new insights that will lead you even further on your journey, on your path. So when it comes to you taking um, into your own hands, yeah, what you need to do, you're going to be very direct. Take on that air sign energy. Be very direct. Stick to the facts, right? Even though you have your intuitive nudges, you want to stick to um, black and white in this uh, season. I'm seeing here where there may even be... Um, and uh, an air sign or someone who um, has a leadership position, someone who um, will be revealing um, some secrets to you that you will need on your journey, someone who is very compassionate, someone who, yeah, this is an offer coming in, yeah, ma'am. Someone wants to apologize or make things right. There is this energy here of um, a new beginning coming in, things coming full circle. You begin to see it and you begin to feel it. You begin to live it. Um, there may even be a Sagittarius here who um, makes this offer. But they want you to be sure to use your, um, some of you need to balance your masculine and feminine so that you will be able to make certain decisions when it comes to um, someone who um, wants to make an offer to you. 
or wants to build something with you or wants to get you to sign some type of paperwork or contract. This is a new business endeavor. I feel as though you should really, you'll have a lot of um, messages, incoming uh, messages. There will be a lot of communication coming in as well. But someone from a distance, someone who lives an uh, hour, two hours away from you, whether it's a flight or um, um, in a car, right? They want to come in and make some type of um, agreement with you. They want to be in agreement with you. Um, they are burdened. They feel oppressed. They feel as though you can help them or they can help you to alleviate some type of stress or um, issues here but it's all to be seen with this moon card ending it it's all to be seen so you want to be very mindful of staying out of your head in uh, these coming months right you want to stay out of your head because i'm also seeing here that there may be confusion feeling tied up and trapped and you're not it's all in your head overthinking things so they want you to affirm the opposite because i do feel that things are going to begin to change for you drastically give me one more card for this moon card got a lot of kings i raise Someone is revealing their feelings for you. There may be a renewal of vowels. There, vow, vows. there may be uh, some type of um, feelings revealed to you that from someone that you didn't even think had you on their radar. That's what they said. So it's going to be up to you. But there is some... Uh, this, uh, this person that's coming in here, I feel um, they know what they want. They don't take no for an answer, and they want you. It's your life, honey. I don't know your life. It's late 30. Whatever. <laughs> 